Hello everyone, my name is Madison and welcome back to Hop and Help and today I'll be teaching you how to care for your golden tree frog. Now golden tree frogs, also known as common tree frogs, can range from a light beige to dark maroon. And in the wild, they like to stay around civilization. They tend to actually go into people's houses so they make great pets. Their lifespan in captivity is about 6 to 12 years. To sex your golden tree frog, males tend to be much smaller than females and they do call, and females tend to be much larger and they do not call. If you're thinking about mixing this frog with a different species, if it be a frog or a different animal, I just don't suggest it. Every animal has different toxins on them and it can be poisonous and harmful to your frog, so I just leave them with other golden tree frogs. Their captivity difficulty is about intermediate. Golden tree frogs can grow from 1.5 to 3.5 inches long or 3.8 to 8.9 centimeters. In the day, golden tree frogs sleep, so they might sleep in the corner of their tank and logs, decorations, and even their water bowl. And then at night, they hunt, exercise, and look for a mate. If you're looking for an animal that you want to handle all the time, golden tree frogs are just not the frog for you. They get stressed very easily by disturbances, so loud noises and commotion, and I just would suggest not holding these guys at all. Your golden tree frog's main diet should be live crickets. Dusting them with calcium powder is great for your frog, it keeps them strong and healthy. Other things that you can feed them as like a snack is hornworms, red wigglers, waxworms, moths, and Dubai cockroaches. I would feed four to five crickets to an adult uh, golden tree frog every like two to three days. Just depends on how hungry your frog is. And you can mix the snacks in like five Dubai cockroaches once a week, or like one hornworm that's great for them. And giving them a diverse diet will help them out. Like I said before, golden tree frogs are easily stressed, so that will change where you put the tank in your house. I suggest a dark, quiet corner. Now, in the tank, the substrate should be a coconut fiber or moss. I suggest coconut fiber because it's easier to spot clean off of, but moss is great too. Decorations in the tank can be aquarium decorations, like something you put in a fish tank, but logs, vines, and live plants are great for them. Running water is great for any amphibian, so if you want to put a running water feature in the tank, that is amazing, but a water bowl will also work. It should be pretty wide and about as deep as the frog is long. I also suggest that you put a background on three of the four sides of the tank that also will help the animals feel secure and safe in their home. A single golden tree frog should live in a 16 by 8 by 10 inch terrarium or a 41 by 20 by 25 centimeter terrarium. More space though, the better. These guys love to jump around so giving them that extra space is really great for them. Daytime temperatures for your golden tree frog should stay between 75 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit or 24 to 29 degrees Celsius. At night, temperatures should never go below 65 degrees Fahrenheit or 18 degrees Celsius. For lighting, a heat lamp is never needed unless the room will go below 65 degrees Fahrenheit or 18 degrees Celsius. Do not use a heat lamp if you will stay above 65 degrees Fahrenheit or 18 degrees Celsius. It will cook your frog. It will dehydrate them so bad that it literally would cook them, which is just absolutely terrible. So please do not use heat lamps on any amphibians unless it will drop below 65 degrees Fahrenheit or 18 degrees Celsius. And if it does, you can use a low wattage heat lamp for a reptile and at night an infrared low wattage heat lamp. UVB is recommended. You can have natural sunlight or a UVB bulb. The humidity of the tank should stay above 60%. The average cost for a golden tree frog is about 15 US dollars. Now you might be asking, are these good for beginners? And I would say these are great for second time frog owners. They're not that difficult to care for, but you should be a little bit more experienced just because they're a tree frog and they're a little more fragile and they are easily stressed. But some frogs that are easy to care for are fire belly toads and American toads, and all those care sheets are linked down below, including this one at hopandhelp.com. If you have any questions, let me know. You can email me on my website or you can just leave a comment down below. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, you know what to do. Leave a like and subscribe. Subscribe for more and have a happy day. Goodbye.